This is the Home Bad Strategy. My name is Ophorzaz and welcome back to more the Madness. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing that right. If you need to know the correct pronunciation, please comment and then like the video so I will see it and then pin it as a love thing as someone pronounces it and then I'll continue to probably mispronounce it the entire time. Because remember, this is number two in the batch of three I'm recording at the moment. So if you've done a comment on the first video or even this video, I won't see it until after the third video has gone up, most likely. So I won't be able to put it in your plans until after that. I'm just having a little look around to see what I can do. Right, there is a single province guy here. Oh no, he's not a single province, he actually belongs to Vyach. Never mind. I looked at him and he's like, Ooh, global province for a mini war. Nope, never mind. Belongs to big scary <laughs> Vyatich over here. Don't even know why you need that bit of land. It doesn't even belong here to Jurvrus. So. Last time, as we left off, I managed to capture the province of Sirit, and they're complaining about me, to me. For some reason, my stewardship is high enough that I don't have to worry about that anymore. Sweet. So, I conquered that bit of war. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some of that prestige I got from doing this war, and I'm actually going to build some stuff over here. I'm probably going to take Weaponsmith in this province, simply because I lost a lot, quite a few troops in that fight. And I don't want to have to worry about that. I'm probably gonna have that. In, I'm probably gonna have to restart this game at some point just to deal with this. Probably doing the third episode, but I might not. I'm too lazy. But we're gonna have a little look at the rap of the world whilst things are just ticking over for now. Uh, let's see. Middle West. Oh, uh, Charlemagne is doing his thing of annexing the whole of France and mostly every land east. He's also taken a bit of land over here. He's taken Navarra from the Umayyad. I think from the Umayyad or independent version. Little people of the Umayyad. Quite fun there. Lombardy is being Lombardy. I think England is embroiled in, in its normal ridiculous wars. How's Loot doing? Loot just got conquered, didn't it? Yep. There's Oswald, my previous character. Now he's just the Lord of Th of uh, Tetra Vale. What happened there? Did you? Oh no, that is one of the common problems you start with. I can't remember. It's been so long since I did that series. Because the last time I remember, I think Tetra Vale actually belonged to a brother, a half brother of mine, I think it was. But. No harm, no foul. Is I've lost my character. Our Edward thing, Oswald, has lost loot or Lothia. Not that I ever did that at all. Link to where I might have lost Lothia at some point in that series, but that's not important. Let's get back to the crazy world of Modva, which I'm probably gonna have a not do much at the moment. Uh, let's see. That my domain just my domain limit just went down. What happened? I don't know what happened. Right, we've got that crazy, crazy 23, like, woman. 23 intrigue woman. I don't want her in my court. I'm going to release her. She can go back to Bolga. I don't want her. She's terrifying. Do you have any concubines I can want? Because I, I really need to get a child. This is more important than any of this is going on. I don't have a child right now. And if I die without an heir... I am in deep poo poo. I might need to spend a bit of money to actually buy a woman. Come to the Middle Ages where I'll buy a woman. Jesus Christ, she's ugly. Uh, I don't want bad stats to be gone. I'm going to buy another de debutante. I love that this is how Middle Ages, Middle Ages this world works. It's, eh, she looks ugly. Go away. Uh, she's not got great stats, but I need the concubines. So, take the concubine. I now have two concubines. I can have one more. Uh, I think I'll buy the gold for another concubine. You're not bad. You've not got bad stats. So, I'm going to be taking you as a concubine. And hopefully one of them will get pregnant or my wife, whichever comes first. I need to hand out that land. I'm going to hand out that province I just conquered. Because it's not that good a province for me. It's got nomad aggregation, which means it's going to probably revolt. And I don't want it revolting on me. It probably will revolt me, but still. Uh, who do I trust to ma manage this land and not be a tool? I want someone loyal. Like Ozuna. He looks quite nice. I'm going to give it to chan the Chancellor. Hey, you know, you helped a lot. We're going to be giving you a province. Hey, it fixed the graphical glitch! So we're giving you the province of Sirit. And I'm actually going to mark him because I have a feeling he is probably going to come back to bite me in the ass at some point. And you can deal with the fact that you've got to build stuff on this land, okay? You can deal with that, not my fault. I'm building a weaponsmith there. I'm going to be holding on to these provinces as long as I can. And what are you going to be doing? Follow up, Taipei Miyaki. That's cool, you're a decent guy. 
and you haven't, I haven't lost you with my seat, so you absolutely freaking love me. Alright, I just gotta hope that something happens. What's happening up here anyway with this big guy? Oh, you're just in the middle of a revolt. Yay, Cockabine's pregnant! I might not be screwed now. Uh, attacking... You're in revolt, basically, against him. Sweet. How powerful are you? 500. How powerful are you? Eh, 500. It's almost as like if these guys are equally matched strength. Why do I can play them off? Why do I can play this and just go to war? <laughs> They're like, oh, no problem. It's like, yeah, it's mine now. I can't. I'm not going to risk that right now. I haven't got the manpower to deal with that, especially if this province revolts. Ooh, you liked me. Oh, there you go. See, so the revolt and what happened. You're known as the Lionheart. I don't want you to be on my bad side. Or I don't want to be on your bad side, rather. Can I offer you a concubine if you leave me alone? Uh, the defensive tax I don't know why I would care about something having the Byzantine Empire. That's currently far from my fort. I am nowhere near strong enough. There we go, we've got Weaponsmith. Uh, oh, that's not my capital. I'm over here. There we go, I've got a daughter. That's not good. But it's a beautiful, attractive child of a concubine. Hey, look, we've got a positive thing. We're getting plus one diplomacy. Oh, we're trying to. Uh, accept the gift reluctantly? Yep, yeah, sure. I'm now charitable. Makes people like me more. I'm okay with that. Yeah, we should talk more. Become a close friend of Nuyat, my spy master. But why are you my spy master with two intrigue? I think I missed a step here, and this is like, no. We're gonna put my concubine in charge? I trust her, maybe because she has better stats, and she likes me as well. Okay. Uh, worship the ancestors. Ooh, this is an event. Uh, I hope that, that probably cost me gold, but I kind of want to see what this does. Yep. Uh, ancestors. Perspective and growth from my whelm. Whelm? With perfection and companionship. Okay. Ooh, I can make myself one eyed and injure myself. I don't have a uh, person to heal me, do I? I don't know. I don't know how it works for these guys. You have five. No. We're putting someone who's at least competent as a nice scholar now. You're going to be doing that to building. Um, lose 25 gold. I idle. I'm doing idle for now. The ancestors bestow my blessing. I can't afford much. I may be a high chief. I'm still poor as dirt. Uh, I've probably increased my levy size. Yeah, I'll spend some 300 more on my prestige because prestige is not that important at this early stage to me. So I'm going to spend the prestige to get that rolling. You're doing a war. Who are you revolting against? Against who? Then okay, I'll accept, but I'm not getting involved in a war against the Magyars. Ooh, pet cat! Yes, pet cat. More health means I'll last longer. Means I can get more than just a daughter. I hope. Come on, guys. I've got, I've got really high. <laughs> I hope I've got high fertility. I need a son. Hey, that'll work. It's like I need something. He gives it to me. Hopefully. Way. I say that now, it's probably going to be a dick and it's like, no, nope, yeah, it's dead on birth. Oh, I could go for you. You only have 861 men. I have 1,000 and you're attacking who? The Bulgar. Oh, they're actually weakened as well. Uh, for Shali. I could actually go straight for the jugular and wipe this person out, can I? Nope, I can't afford to lose. Oh, yeah. You're the guy I declared war on. I can't go for the jugular as much as I want to go to the jugular, <laughs> jugular and rip yeah, rip it out and claim it. Uh, right. How much would it cost me? 188 gold. That's not fun. But I could go and start claiming land from these guys. So they don't have any alliances. They're weakened and they're middle of a war at the moment. And I can't really see that many amount of men. And you have really bad prestige, so you can't hire suddenly vassal people. Ooh. So I could do a border dispute, lose 100 prestige. No. That is a tributary state. Yeah. Hmm. Subjugation. I can just subjugate everything and I can call in the revolt. Or export tribute from him. I want to subjugate. Honestly. I want to just subjugate and claim all of this land. And that'll give me another high chieftainship and how many provinces out of the ones I need? That'll give me two more provinces. 
And we put a 6 out of 13. That's almost 51%. So it might be worth doing that. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Subjugation war. And I'm not going to call in my ally just yet. We're doing this. We're doing this solo style. It also helps that your army just got beaten up. That makes my life easier as well. That also called me into it. Make me. Oh no, that's the war. His my, my uh, father-in-law's war. Not my fault. Right, you're in the army. You're in the army. Where am I? Where am I? No, 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 no. We are not leading troops, buddy. We are not leading troops whatsoever. Bloody ever. I'm gonna lay siege to his capital. Are they leading troops? No, it's just the icon changing from leading troops to not. Come on, give me a son. Give me a son, my dear wife. I ha I've got you for the alliance. I need you for the blood now. Come on. Yeah, I'm a son. I'm no longer screwed in the succession thing. Nominate successor. I wonder who I'm going to nominate. The only person in my family. Right, now I can be a little bit more blase about who's about me dying, but I don't want to. Oh, I've got a small free army. Get in there. And I've just captured a couple of people belonging to him. I've captured his family. Apart from his son, apart from his heir. That's pretty good. Hey, do you want to surrender? I've captured troops of people of yours. No, fine. We're sending the troops. We're sending now over 2,000 troops. And I'm not leading the troops game. Stop trying to put me in command. I do not wish to die. Ooh, I've got a military thing. What's this? New commander can be appointed. Uh, no, there's no point appointing my steward. Why are you trying to escape? Why are you... Get, get back here, you little bastard! I'm going to split my arm in half, actually. There we go. Ha! Ah, he got caught. That works. I'm going to... March my troops to try and get into the tail end of that. Yeah, I got into the tail end of that battle. Ooh, my concubine's also pregnant. Please don't be a son. This is when you go like, I don't want to have a son now. Please don't give me one. <laughs> oh, I forgot you have little problems all the way over here as well. Would you not? Would you not raid, please? That's kind of rude. I get why you're doing it, but it's still kind of a dickish thing to do. Oh, we've got training grounds built. I mean, negative treasury, but that's normal. At this early stage, as a tribal person, you always run out. Yeah, yeah, 93%. Do you wish to surrender, my good sir? Yes, you do. Excellent. I've conquered more land. I'm now threatening. I'm not surprised I did just double in size. <laughs> Wait, I've got enough people? Things to create the land? Did I math wrong? Well, did, oh no, you conquered a province before, I think. Granted, yeah, you conquered this province before I beat you. <laughs> okay. That's great. You actually just gave me everything I wanted. Yeah, I'm not surprised you're making a defensive pack against me. I'm honestly not surprised at all. Okay, how strong are you and how much do you hate me? You hate me. Fair enough. Uh, 26 gold gold, 26 gold. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to release your wife. Does that make you like me a bit more? No. Okay. Uh, usurped title. Fair enough. Once you see it on title, on council. Fair enough. I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave you to stew just a little bit. If that's alright. I'm going to let I'm going to let him pillage your lands as much as that sounds counterintuitive. I'm going to let you pillage let him pillage your lands. I'm going to put you actually in command. If you die of that injury, I get you caught in battle. Be even great, better. I've got a son of oh, balls, but he is weak. That could be helpful. Obligate the battle. I'm gonna obligate him so he doesn't do any factioning. Excellent. Still doesn't like me, but who gives a toss? But look at that! Just double the size of Modva. Oh, yes, I'm surprised. I'm a bit freshening. <laughs> Praise Amul. Religious people have arrived. Great, I've just got zealots. But no why I want to have zealots at this moment in time. They'll turn against me if I don't leave you disband them. So go away. Don't want you. I appreciate the zealotry, but 
We're good right now. We got a lot. We got a decent force. Can I actually afford any Russian units? That'd be quite nice. Baltic warriors, which are all just heavy infantry. That sounds pretty boss, and I'm not going to lie. You could provide me up to 200 F-21 troops, but you don't want to. <laughs> Mainly because you're also a liege vassal. Fine. Uh, nominated. Yeah, everyone's voting for him. Not surprising. Do I want to empower the council? There you go. The defensive pact got disbanded. Marginal, traditional. What the hell are you doing, buddy? What is with that hat? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll help you out in this war. I'm not actually going to help because you're fighting Bulgaria, and Bulgaria is big and scary. How strong are Bulgaria? Actually, they're not that big and scary at all. <laughs> Here's me thinking, like, oh, Bulgaria is terrifying. I'm going to stay away from the big ass force over there. They're actually titchy. I think it's these guys who I want to be terrified of, isn't it? Yep, it's Kazaria I want to be most terrified of. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I'm going to be terrified. Revolt! <laughs> Keep doing this, guys. If this keeps happening, you're going to prove me best. Right. Uh, there's going to be a way to create this kingdom. Like a, yeah, I'm totally going to turn myself into a merchant republic in the middle of land. That sounds really smart. Do you, hey, do you want to be a vassal, Mr. Stuck? Oh, no, you're actually allied to the big carganet down there. Fair enough. Um, oh, you died. The wife just died in childbirth. Yes, she did. Even birth to my daughter. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, I think this is a good place to stop episode two. <laughs> Everything's going well. I don't know how. It never works like this normally. So I'm going to leave the episode off here. And no doubt I'm going to get screwed in the next episode. But of course, the next episode is going to be the last of this batch of free I'm recording today. So until next... Wednesday. My name's Ophazaz and welcome back. And see you next time in Mordvar Madness. I shouldn't have clapped my hands, I probably sounded incredibly loud.